Hey everybody, thought I'd do a quick uh, review on an Arians Icon X52 zero turn mower. It has uh, 30 hours on it now, and I could not be happier with this thing. few things that I thought I'd mention that I don't like or have had small issues with but uh, for example changing the oil in this thing I'm sure I'm sure if you're looking on YouTube at videos and reviews on these things you may have heard right down here is the drain you pop that off and it comes with a clear hose that you're supposed to attach to it and then you know it just drains right out like it's no big deal well uh, wrong there is so far no good way to route that tube anywhere I could potentially see having one of those lifts that you put under the front wheels and it jacks it up and you know uh, you know and maybe get to run the tube maybe out this back side or something down that way but you know not everybody has one of those things those are expensive so I did the initial oil change at like eight hours or whatever it calls for I don't want to say here yeah, yeah eight, eight hours and it took like an hour. <laughs> I even tried ja jacking the thing up, getting a jack under the thing, because even a low profile was real hard to do, and you're worried about breaking gears and stuff on it. Well, anyway, it was, it was a mess. But anyway, I digress. Um, bought a tow hitch for it. They used to come with them, from what I've read. Now they don't. Just cutting back, trying to save money, I'm sure. And they used to be orange, which looked a lot better. Well, now they're black. Got it at Home Depot for like 40 bucks. It was the cheapest place I found it. Showed up in two or three days. Went on, it's got four bolts. You know, that hold, hold it on there. It took about five minutes to put it on. And, you know, I pull my yard sweeper or, or uh, you know, roller, you know, you know, with it, you know, a time or two. I really haven't done it yet. But anyway, that's that. The, I have a little list here I'm, I'm looking at. Kind of point at the seat. As far as I'm concerned, is crazy comfortable. The armrests, I didn't think I would use, but I do. Um, I mow. Well, let's see, three yards here in my neighborhood for a couple of uh, older couples, helping them out. So I mean, between my yard. And their two yards. I probably mow close to two acres. Plus, I have another lot that's almost an acre. So this this thing sees you know about three acres a week, maybe thereabouts. But anyway, but um, anyway, seat is comfy. I don't have any complaints with it. The high back seat does help. I had a John Deere LA130 before this that I bought. It was a 48 inch, and I had it for. Oh, like 13 or 14 years before the sector gear kept going out and the thing. I can't turn it anymore. Anyway, um, next thing, there's fittings, grease zerk fittings here for the wheels, which is nice. But there are no fittings for this front casters here, which I'm hoping won't be a problem. Um, I just keep my fingers crossed. Um... It is bouncy, but there is no suspension whatsoever. Uh, it's just, just how they are. At least my, my John Deere riding tractor had a center pivot point here, you know, so at least, you know, man, it, it, was, it was like a Cadillac compared to this thing. But, but my yard is pretty smooth. I'm going to show a couple pictures of it later. I just got done, done, done mowing. Um, but... And 
Next thing, there is a YouTube video floating around out there where a guy is just complaining about the deck bouncing right here, like this stuff, that stuff. Well, I don't know what he's talking about. Mine has never done any of that. Once again, my yard's fairly flat. My neighbor's yards are fairly flat. The deck is whisper quiet between, you know, the loud engine, which is awesome, and wearing my headphones or ear protection. I have no idea what he's talking about on that, but hey, it just may be one of those things. It does cut awesome. The uh, fabricated deck is way beefier and stronger than it needs to be. Like I said, it, it is the 52, and it does have some extra, like, uh, you know, pieces on here, you know, for, you can see, you know, catching rocks and stuff and trees and posts and stuff, you know, around here, cutting the extra little, you know, gauge metal on there to help protect it, you know. I do have a couple spots where paint has flaked. I don't know if they sell, you know, uh, you know, touch up paint or what I'll do with that, but I'm just keeping an eye on it. Um, I did lose the Arian's badge that went right back here like within a couple weeks it just fell off and I never did find it again um, there is no fuel gauge on it as you can see it's got 32 hours choke PTO you know key switch throttle deck height adjustment which is awesome just push that all the way as far as it'll go and then you can just, you know, crank it wherever you need it. I normally drop it all, all the way down to the bottom and then run a leaf blower over it to blow it, you know, clean it all out. Anyway, and uh, what else? But yeah, no fuel gauge. Here's you put the fuel in here. It's a fairly decent sized tank. It's not, not too big, but I mean, it, it lasts me a while. I mean, it's not like it's a gas guzzler or anything like that. Um, the 10 inch wheels. Here, you know, they don't look as cool as the big ones, the X Marks and all the other big commercial grade stuff comes with. They don't look as cool, you know what I mean? But what is it, 18, eight and a half by eight? I thought they were tens, geez, 18, eight and a half by eights. But, it, but, you know, people said, oh, you know, but hey, they, you know, they don't tear the yard up as bad because they're not as wide and, you know, whatever. Well, I think that if there's any moisture or any, the ground's wet at all, I think they kind of chew up the grass a little bit. I know these are turf saver tires. But man, if I, you know, if I'm not super careful, like turning around, you know, and doing like a two or three or four point turn, this, you know, this thing will, will straight, you know, uh, you know, make a, make a mud hole, you know, but I think the mower's extra heavy on these small tires. So maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not sure. Um, the Kawasaki FR691V, what can I, what can I say? Obviously, you know, everybody likes their Kohlers. Everybody likes their Kawasaki's. I think it's Ford versus Chevy. I think they're both pretty good. This thing is awesome. It is pure power. It's never, never uh, even hiccuped with tall grass or, you know, anything with my back lot. I mean, it just goes through it like hot knife through butter. It is made in the USA, which that's what I'm talking about right there. Um, and, you know, quick thing before I show some pictures of, of the yard here, the, what, am I, what was I going to say? This thing is, is, in my opinion, is the heaviest, strongest built residential mower on the market. It's just, there's so, so many things on it that it just seems overkill that you, you're not going to find, you know, besides the you know, the stamp deck. I mean, the, the hanger system stuff here, this is pretty thick. You know, some of the arms underneath, the pulleys, you know, under, underneath look strong. I mean, this hanger part back here, you know, e even the gauge here, you know, on the front casters, I think is, is, pretty, is pretty thick. Um, you know, it does just have the basic pumps. They're non-serviceable, you know, but that's pretty much a standard for, you know, all residentials. You know, unless, unless you get into, you know, 
you know, a lower end bad boy or something like that motor, you know, but man, you're, you're talking another $1,500. This thing was 3,000. I got it from Lowe's, I ordered it, and I had a 10% off coupon, so 2,700 bucks. You know, the 42 inch was only like $200 cheaper or something like that. So I was like, well, why would you not just get the 52, you know, unless you got tight spaces you gotta get through and stuff like that, because this thing definitely will not fit, you know, in, in tight areas. One other thing too is this anti-scalp deck wheel right here, you can see at one point I had it on that lower bolt there trying to keep it from scalping, you know. So I thought, okay, you know, well then I realized this middle one here, if you put it on that other hole, where is it? This bottom hole right there, you can't. It will hit the deck and not even spin. So it's like not even an option. You only have that one spot there. Same thing goes for this one over here. You can see that other little hole right to the left at about 10 o'clock. If you try to put the, the bolt through there, it'll hit this upper upper piece right here. So you can't do that. So both, both these wheels are not adjustable. That one is. So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, let me show you some pictures here real quick.